Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to today's Proverbs with Paul in the afternoon. Uh, this uh, rainy, windy day, sitting outside um, Carl's new home. So, Proverbs, uh, verse 5, says, A wise person will hear and increase in learning. And a person of understanding will acquire wise counsel. So unlike the youth who can't hear because they're so fixed on their own opinion, a wise person is willing to learn because that wise person is willing to hear. And hearing is not just with our head, but it's hearing with everything there is about us. We are body, soul and spirit and our spirit needs to hear so that it can teach our soul and mind and emotions and will to understand what it is that we're hearing. And once we've heard something deep within us, then it's there that we really get to know what we've heard. And having now come to a place of knowing, it becomes very easy for us to be convinced that the wisdom that we've gleaned from the things that we've heard are going to assist us in our journey through life. And so the person who is wise not only listens, but they also hear as well. And as a result of hearing, they increase in learning. And it's not learning as it relates to knowledge, so they didn't know something and now they do, but more that they know something so much that it becomes as real to them as it is to the person that told them and wanted to incite them with regards to the understanding that they had gleaned from their learning process. And a person of understanding, that's now the person who has something new and has entered into uh, the fullness of a truth that they didn't once yet know, but now do know. They have an understanding. And with that understanding comes this, capa this capacity to acquire um, the, 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 the declaration of um, comfort and, uh, and peace and joy that that knowledge that now they know has brought them. So acquiring this knowledge has brought them into a wise position because their lives are benefiting from it so that they bring counsel to their own troubled mind and their own troubled heart and then they can release that counsel that they've now gleaned from others to others. And so the journey of wisdom continues. I hope you enjoyed these first five days this week and we'll be back again next Monday with Proverbs with Paul in the afternoon. God bless your weekend.